Hello boys and girls, this is Mr. Lewick, and today you are going to start building a jack-o'-lantern. It's something that may take a couple weeks. Uh, some of you have done this type of activity before. Um, some of you it'll be the first time. Uh, but I did create some new activities within this build a jack-o'-lantern. All right, so to get going, after this video, you will go back and go to your Google stream and click on, and make sure you click on this assignment and open up your Google slide because you each get your own. When it opens up, you'll see the title page. And then to get to the next slide, you'll click on number two. You're going to keep it in work mode. This is work mode because we see all our tools here. Don't click slideshow, at least not yet. All right, so slide number two has a picture of some keys that you need to use and how your fingers work on that. We're going to go back to this. And you can go back to this anytime while you're working in case you forget some things. So slide number three. It says copy and paste to make four total pumpkins. Each slide has a direction on it. So you have one pumpkin that's down here and you have to make four. Now they don't have to be an exact um, design as that, but you need four more. So I need to copy and paste it. First thing you'll do is click on it, select it. All right, now the Chromebook knows you wanna work on that. Then you need to copy and paste it. I'm gonna go back to slide number two. This is where I need this slide where it says one finger or shows one finger, presses and holds the control key. It's a big one in the corner. And while you hold that down, you press the letter C one time. That's going to copy it. So let's go do that. Select what I want. Control C, doesn't look like anything happened, but it did, so that's copied. Then I need to paste it. Well, how do I do that? All right, this is for pasting. You hold down the control key. While you hold it down, you press the letter V key. So let's go back and do that. Control V. Ah, look, and it made a new one. Now I wanna click, hold, and drag that over. So now I have two total pumpkins. All right, so I'm getting there. So the other way that you can copy paste is select the one that you want. And with two finger touch on your keypad, and when I say two finger, I mean like this, a little bit of a peace sign, not too wide, not too close, it's just lightly tap. I'm not clicking down. So select, two finger tap, and I look for copy, and then two finger tap again two finger touch and paste and there it is all right i got it that's another way to do it and then i just need one more and i'll have my four pumpkins you don't need to make faces on those although if you want to later you most certainly can i'm just going to delete those so it's ready for you for when you do it all right then i go to slide number actually let me stay in slide number three you notice that i click and drag the slide over a pumpkin over. I want to show you how I did that. Now, I see a lot of you, you'll use just one finger and you click and hold and you're dragging that finger around your mouse pad while you're pressing down. That's really, really hard to do. So what you're going to do this time is copy what this picture is showing you. With one finger, your left finger, you click and hold in the left corner of your touchpad. It'll let you click down. You don't have to press down hard, just enough to press it down. And while you hold that finger down, this one drives around your touchpad wherever you want the pumpkin to go. So I select the one I want to work with. You got to select it first. One finger, click and hold in the bottom left corner and then drive it around. This way, if I go off the screen, it's okay. And wherever I have it where I want it to go, that little white box, then I let go with both fingers. And there it is. All right. So once you have your four, you go to your next slide over here. Now there's something showing on here. It kind of looks like a movie. It's a GIF. It's like a very short video, but it, acts, uh, it just repeats itself, shows you what to do. So the directions here are, are change your pumpkin's color. And it shows you how to do it in two places. You could read it. You have to select the pumpkin you want to change, then click Format Options, and then Recolor. But this video also shows you what to do as well. It shows you exactly where to click and what to do. So if you wait for it to start from the beginning, it's going to show you. You got to select your pumpkin. Then you click on Format Options. And you go down and you click Recolor. And then you click a down arrow and choose what color you want. So how's that look? You know, click the pumpkin. Oh, Format Options is here. There's Recolor. 
no recolor. No, I want some color on there. And then you can pick any color that you want it to be. I'm going to X this out here. Now, if that video on your screen looks a little small, watch what you can do. I click on it, grab one of these corner grab boxes, click and hold with one finger in the bottom left corner and drag it bigger. Just get it where you can see it. Now it's really big. And if you're like, hey, I'm all done. I did it. I don't want that on anymore. You just select the video and then press backspace and that deletes it. And then you don't see it anymore, but you probably don't want to delete it till you're all done. All right. So then once you change the color, you go to slide number five and there's some directions there. It shows you, let's see, it says rotate your pumpkin upside down. So your pumpkin looks like this one down here. You have to make it look like this one. And the video shows you how to do that. All right. So let's say you go through each one of these. There's a direction on each one. And finally you get to a slide that just looks like this. Well, that means you can decorate your own pumpkin. You'll use some of the skills that you did earlier in the video or that you saw me do earlier in the video. But watch if I keep scrolling down. And did you know that I can scroll using my fingers looking like this? I just two finger touch and I keep my fingers on the touchpad, not pressing down just so they're touching. And I just go up and down on my touchpad and that's just like scrolling. I think it's much faster than trying to click and hold this thing or use your arrows. So let me go down. Here's my pumpkin. I can decorate it. All right, so you know how to use some of the drawing tools. Either you knew how to do it already or you learned some new ones earlier in this video. But look, when I scroll down, ooh, there's already made pictures that I can use. So I click on the slide to get to it. And let's see, let's say I want Ooh, this one. I click on it. Look, they're both together. So I'm going to control C copy or two finger touch copy. Then go back to my slide. Click on the slide first. And then control V or two finger touch paste. There it is. Click, hold and drag it to wherever you want it. And if you grab these corner ones, It'll make it bigger proportionally or smaller. If you grab the side ones, it does make it bigger, but it stretches it out. But maybe that's what you want. You kind of got to decide how you want it. All right, so let me put that there. And I'm going to go down and I'm going to get, let's see. Let's get an eye patch. Got it. Copy. Go back to my slide. Click and paste. Let me put this on. And I want it over the eye, so i got to kind of play around with it a little bit. Oh, looks like I got something else on there, too. I'll have to go back. Oh, no, because that's two eyes. All right. I'm going to get rid of this one. Click it. Backspace. Kind of put it where I want it. It can make it bigger so it fits. And now let's go back and get something else. Let's get a mouth. All right, this one. Click and hold, copy, go back to my pumpkin and paste. There it is. I'm going to put it on. Oh, no, it's on top of that. Now, I wouldn't really keep it like that, but sometimes you put something on your pumpkin. You're like, oh, I want it to be on top or behind something else. You can change the order that your pictures are on. They're like laying on top of each other. Whatever you put on last will be on top of everything else. But maybe I want the mouth behind that eye patch. This is how you change the order of different pictures to move them behind or in front. So click the one you want to move or you want to change the order. Two finger touch on your touchpad and look for the word order. Don't click yet. Go to the next window that opens up. If you want to send it backward or all the way to the back, you just click on it. And now, oh, I put it behind the pumpkin. I don't want that. So let me click on it again, order. Get out of there. Oh, I lost it. Sometimes that happens too. You got to start all over. Um, but let's, here's the pumpkin. I'm going to send the pumpkin all the way to the back order. Send the back there. 
now the pumpkin's in the very back and the mouse in front. So you, it's like a deck of cards. You can change the order that the cards are in. You can do the same thing with each picture that you put on. All right, so there are four total blank pumpkins that you can turn into jack-o'-lanterns. If you want to do more than four, you can. But when you get to the last one here, you click on it and then two finger touch and duplicate slide and it makes another one. And if you want to make more than one big pumpkin on each slide, you most certainly can. Some people like to make a family of jack-o'-lanterns. It's totally up to you. All right, that's it. Have fun and do your best.